Hi ladies, today we're going to do um, polymarque on a light switch. It's going to kind of look something like this, okay? Okay, so you're gonna get your light switch cover. I think for a box of this, let me see. At Home Depot, I think for a box of 10, I think we pay like two or three something. So let me take the screws out. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a mold I got this at Michael's for, I think it was like eight something, I'm not sure, but I got this, I got this at Michael's and um, with a 50% coupon and we're going to need um, Scopey Bacon Bond. So we could um, glue the clay to the switch. Okay, anyways, my advice for you is if you have bad eggs on your hands like I do, you'd probably want to wear gloves because it will dry your hands out really, really bad and ugly. So I'm going to put my gloves on. And what you're going to do is um, whatever colors you're going to use. I'm gonna put like a tan color for the tree part. So what you're gonna do is when you take your clay out, it's gonna be kind of hard, so you just have to like condition it. You have to just keep squeezing and squeezing and until it gets soft, okay? So I'm just gonna put some clay. I'm gonna use this one. So you just fill it in with um, your clay, push it in. I think to condition it, it's good to wear gloves and when you're pushing this in, maybe you should take your gloves off because eventually I'm going to end up taking it off. Okay, let me take off one of my hands. This is not working for me. Just try to use one finger. Okay, so you pushed it in and now you're gonna take it out. You just, it's flexible, so you just push it back and pull it. Not too hard because you don't want it to tear. Then you get your um, light switch and you see where you want it at. You see this little crack it has here? I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably not. There's like a little crack there. You could just smooth it out with your finger. Just think how you want it. Then you can um, 
Do another one. Maybe this shorter one. If you don't like that one. These are really uh, meant to be for cakes. I got it in the baking aisle. You might want to cut pieces off of this to add it on there. Let me get my exacto knife. Okay, let's let's use this on there. Tool. You could just use something um, pointy or skinny and round. You kind of just bend it together. And I'll probably use some of this. Maybe like that. It's all up to you. Well, if you don't like it, you could move it. And what you don't use, you can always save it, like in a plastic bag. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now, let me take out these gloves. I'm going to get my glue. And put glue on back of it so I can glue it down. 
Well, it's not really going to stick until you put it um, in the oven. If you have extra glue, you could just wipe it off with your finger. Now I'm going to um, make flowers and I'm going to use the same mold. I'm going to use these ones. So let me put one glove back on. And we're going to put these three colors of flowers, white, purple, and pink. So we can start with the uh, purple. Again, make sure it's soft. And you just push it in this mold. to the side. I'm going to do um, three of them. Three pinks. This pink for some reason is really hard. It feels like hard gum. You know how when you chew gum for a long time how it gets kind of hard? That's how this feels. But I conditioned it for a while but I don't know. Oh, and another thing. Let me show you this. When you get your clay, make sure you, you buy all the same brands. Because when you put them in the oven, um, sometimes different brands have different temperatures to bake them in. For example, this is Primo and this is Scopey 3. Both of these are, where is it at? 275. to bake it. So just make sure when you buy it that the temperatures to bake it is the same. Because you don't want it to be different, you know, like one higher and one lower because, you know, it might not bake right. So just make sure. And another thing to have in hand are wipes. I have lots and lots of wipes because your hands get really like, I don't know if you can see it. It's like filmy. And you don't want to transfer color, neither. So let me clean my hands. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to do white. Which I should have did white first, but...
you know, let me do like a few little ones. So much. This really tiny one. This one's more harder to pull out, probably because it's so tiny. You don't want to pull it and stretch it neither. And let's do a bird. What is this one right here? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like you know put them on different places. Maybe something like that. Take these gloves off. Why these gloves make your hands sweaty? Just smooth this out a little bit. Can we get the glue? I think I need to buy more glue. It's about that much. Just to make sure it sticks. And then you could kind of push it to push it um, on top of each other a little bit. Sorry about the lighting. It doesn't know if it wants to be cloudy. I mean, um, smoggy, covering the sun or flare. You don't want to make it too close to where the screw goes or by the switch. No, 
how to put these little ones. Thought I made three of these. Jesus, my nails, my hands. Oops. I'll be back. My wife's calling. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I found my little flower was on the floor. I'm always dropping things on the floor. I'm going to glue this on. Okay. Push it down. Make sure it stays. Okay, no, it's for this um, bird. You can get um, some pastel chalk and we're gonna um, brush paint it. Looks like this. Let's put some yellow. Okay, let me see how to this. You just brush it on. Let's see if I can put it close. Okay. Today. Okay, so I'm gonna clean my brush off a little. Isn't it funny how we all have um, different hobbies? Like I like to do um, nails, crochet, clay, resin. Me and my wife think we try to paint. <laughs> but we do a lot of different things. But it's really fun. But yeah, it's funny how we all like different things. Or we all do different things. I'm not a pro painter, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Now let me find some black for the eyes. I just get a little, little bit. It's probably too much. Oops. I found a little ball. Okay. 
hips. So we're just going to put this on here somewhere like that. where it landed, that's where it'll stay. Let's see if I could put a little bit of black on his beak. So I think that came out cute. So now what you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna bake it in the oven. For this one, it's 275. I have a um, my little toaster oven that I'm gonna put it in. But to make sure it's accurate, I got a little thermometer like this. Hold on, this one, and I put it in there to make sure it's the right temperature because I don't want to burn my clay or, you know, bake it under. Oops, it says. 15 minutes per 1 fourth inch. So I'm going to do mine for 10 minutes at first because I don't want my plastic to burn. So what I do is, let me back this up. So what I do is I get a little tray and I sit it in there. And I'm going to get a piece of foil and cover it. So I'll be back when it's finished baking, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna, um, first of all, let me put my name on the back. What's the day today? The 14th. This is the uh, 14th. I know this is not the best um, glaze, but I tried other things and it didn't work that good for me. So uh, we're just going to use this. All you do is just put a little bit on your brush. And brush it off. So it could be a little bit shiny. I don't know, I, I might put two coats on here. So it was pretty easy. So this is what I'm gonna do. I have 63 subscribers and I'm gonna give this away to one of you guys I don't want I'm not gonna give it to any new subscribers just the ones I already have and all you have to do is comment saying I want this you guys have until Sunday midnight and then on Monday I'll pick someone 